beautiful peeps, my name's John, welcome to my channel. Oh, I spat a little bit, my apologies. <laughs> I'm obviously really excited today. Um, today we have the uh, Tamiya TT02 Ford Mustang GT4. But that's not what this video is about, per se. What it's about is should you buy used over brand new? You can obviously get a good value for money, but should you take the risk? Now, I've bought several used cars, to name a few, um, and I've not had any issues with them, but I've been very careful in the cars that I've been sort of bidding on when it comes to eBay. Uh, I look at the uh, seller's uh, percentage and I don't go with a seller below 99.5%, for example. And, and I have a good look at the pictures. There is some rubbish out there without a shadow of a doubt, but this was a particularly good bargain. The reason I bought it was I didn't have time to buy the kit, build the kit, spray the kit, etc, etc, etc. I just did not have time. Uh, and obviously somebody's done all of the work for me, but of course there is the risk with buying used. You don't know how good their workmanship is. Now I took it into consideration that the shell looks pretty good, so they obviously knew what they were doing, um, or they got a friend to do it, <laughs> but the actual running of the car is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Let me show you some figures and then you can decide for yourselves whether you think I got a good deal or not. Put in the description below, yes or no, if you think it was a good deal. So, here we go. The reason I bought this kit as well was there was a few electronics that would not usually come with the kit. The kit usually comes with the car, the shell, the shell is obviously unpainted, uh, and the motor, I believe, but that's it, nothing more. This has had the upgraded bearings on it, uh, I believe upgraded suspension, I'm not sure, but there you go. So, it's got a T-B-L-E uh, O2S brushless and brushed ESC. So that's interesting because obviously I can upgrade to brushless at some point, and you can see the prices here, 73, uh, US dollars, 60 pounds, and uh, 70 European U Union Spondulli. Uh, then you've got the really HR10 10 channel receiver. Now it didn't come with the controller, but it did come with the receiver. So then I just go out and buy the controller myself, and then I've got a 10 channel setup, which I thought was pretty good. 44, 36, and 42. Uh, now, it also comes with the really four channel LED lighting system. Again, it's something that I don't have to install myself. The person that's installed it did a really good job. There was one thing that I had to do myself, which I was fine doing because I wanted to tidy it up anyway. They'd used double sided sticky tape on the inside. Um, so I just replaced it with this absolutely fabulous tape that I found. That will come in another video. Um, but as you can see, they've done all of the installation. I didn't do all of this black stuff here. That was them themselves. Um, but, you know, they did a very good job. And all the lights work, which is uh, important. Uh, then obviously you've got the kit itself. Um, it's currently in Europe for 160 euros. But I believe these figures will be slightly lower in the UK and in the States. Because invariably most things are. So take that with a pinch of salt. Obviously some paint for the shell as well. I've just gone with one can. So here you see the totals. That It's not a cheap car, is it? 331 US dollars, 270 pounds, and 315 euros spondulli. So how much do you think I paid? It was an auction and it is used. But as you can tell, I haven't cleaned this car at all. And you can see, it's pretty much unused. This is the uh, receiver that I put in myself. I took out the Relay and put in this receiver so that I can actually drive it myself. And as it was Tamiya, I had to cut off the old connectors and put in one of these because that's what I had available at the time. But as you can see, it's quite good. And you'll see some running in a moment. So, I paid a grand total of... Da, 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 116 US dollars, 95 quid and 111 euros. So you can see the savings that I've made here are quite considerable. I think it was worth it. That's my opinion, please. You know, as I said, write yes or no in the comments below if you believe it was a good deal or not. Now, some of you may not need all of the electronics, so flog them. 
I, I know for sure, he says, question mark, that the uh, brushless ESC is now discontinued, but of course it still works. So for me, it doesn't matter if it's discontinued, it still works. So I, you know, I'm really happy with this deal. And as I said, it runs really well. So the person that's done the work has done a really good job. Let me just show you the car in a little bit more detail. Um, I mean, you can see that, you know, there's nothing that's sort of out of place. There's nothing that looks weird. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know what I was trying to do with the wheels there, just ignore me, so. Um, as I said, this is my receiver that I've put in, so I've just plopped that in now. I actually bought this kit so that I had something to put the uh, Subaru Impreza shell on that I purchased, um, but I really, really, really do like the Ford Mustang, I have to be honest with you. Now, again, because it was used, there was, there was, there was, there was, there was, uh, a little bit of damage here, you see at the rear. But of course, this tape holds it together and you see how the tape sort of forms around everything as well, so it holds it together pretty well. Again, I'll show you the tape after this mega cheap tape. And uh, put the mirrors down as they, as they should be. Um, as uh, some of you may know already, I've not spray painted any shells, well, not for 30 odd years. So I don't know how good that will be. So the fact that somebody's done it for me already, thank you so much. And they've done a really good job with the stickers and stuff like that as well, which you've probably seen already. I will put some pictures up on the screen in more detail of the car so that you can see more than what I'm showing you right now. You can see I've just driven it on the roof outside. Uh, it's not the fastest out there but the kit itself is not a fast kit with this motor. But that's why I was really happy that it's got a brushless um, ESC with it because now I can just throw in a brushless motor and see how fast it goes. There are limitations with this kit. <clears throat> I don't know myself, I've just read on the forums that the differentials are a little bit uh, fragile. So I, I'm not gonna go putting in the fastest uh, brushless kit that I have, but you know, there is room for upgrades as I said it came with the upgraded bearings anyway and I love it I, I truly do love it now what I'm gonna quickly do is hunt for a battery and then I can show you it running um, just a very quick shout out to Banggood they were the ones that sent me this uh, dumb dork uh, transmitter it is a four channel I believe yes yes must be because I've got the four channels on the controller. Um, <clears throat> I will do a separate review of this at some point, but I just needed a quick and relatively cheap uh, controller, and this worked very well. Um, these are the ones that come with the ZD Racing, and I'm very happy with the quality. So, here you go. I have to show you the lights quickly, because they are they are pretty cool. Doo -doo. See, when I turn to the left, was that right? No, that's left. Indicators. <laughs> I'm such a child. To the right. Again, very good. Does the brake work? Brake works. Um, yeah, I mean, you can hear and see. So, incredibly incredibly happy with it. Uh, what I'll quickly do is I'll get it out on the roof. It, it is a bit wet because it's been raining and I don't have time to uh, go to a larger area but it doesn't go that far so the roof is just a good way to show you that everything is working on it um, and then we'll come back and just finish this video off.
ladies and gents, what do you think of that? I think it's a lot of fun. I really, really do. Um, I did notice that there was a bit of bouncing. My roof is not flat. Every, every what, um, half a metre, metre, there's that uh, line which the car goes over. So it's it's not perfect for these types of cars. So I may do a, uh, an upgrade on the suspension in the future. If you'd like to see that, again, write in the comments below, let me know. Um, I think I've got a bargain. I truly do. I like the savings. I like the electronics uh, that have come with it. You do have to be a little bit uh, wary, of course, of you purchase something like this and then this blows up in a week's time you've lost out haven't you but again with the savings that I made on this I honestly believe that it was well worth the risk had it gone up to 130 I would have said no but you know I was really lucky that I got it for 111 but I did use one of those little uh, eBay sniper tools so make sure that you get one of those as well so thank you so much for watching hit that like button subscribe to the channel check out this video here Catch you next time. Bye-bye.